What's going on guys? Connor owns fast food here back with a brand new video I have this big box of t-shirts that I got over from 508 vintage gems I was trying to remember it when I was filming the video. I was like 508 508 508 508 vintage gems on Instagram Go give them a follow this box was I want to say 35 t-shirts for a hundred dollars shipped That is an insane deal. So make sure you guys go show some love. I made a post in my thrift group called thrift center and I was like hey does anyone have any t-shirts for sale I don't care if it's anything special sometimes people don't even know what they have they'll just send me some absolute fire without even knowing it so I love the mystery of getting t-shirts so I basically spent three dollars shipped per t-shirt such an insane deal so I'm going to bust open this box and we will go through the t-shirts oh man you guys could see already we got the drip Literally the drip. This looks so cool. It looks like it's probably a coke bottle or something. That's what my guess. Oh my god It looks so clean. Wow, it is a coke. No, it's Pepsi. I was wrong This is size large on that vintage tag and it says nothing else is a Pepsi I personally like coke and I think Pepsi tastes way too sweet and it tastes weird But um definitely a $15 bill maybe 20 bucks right off the bat next We have a Aerosmith on a giant tag probably like a 2001 it's actually 2001. Well, I got it right this time. But Aerosmith, 2001, maybe like 20 bucks. And then we have a, has like a bunch of lambs on it. I don't remember this one from the pictures. He must have thrown in some t-shirts. It says H-E-I-F-E-R. Is that Hafer? We have a bunch of sheep with one black sheep at the bottom. It's on this vintage anvil tag made in USA. I have no clue, maybe 15 bucks on that piece. Definitely a dope one too. We have a size large made in the USA, a wild oats. And this is the... Budweiser football helmet looks pretty cool single stitch couple small holes and fading But people don't care when they get these vintage t-shirts. They're like yo. I'm a redneck I don't care if it got a hole in it. I don't care if it's faded I just want me a Budweiser shirt that got a football helmet on there I don't care if it has too much wear so 20 bucks for that piece next we have a Kenny Rogers It's like a weird purple fade size large pretty cool I would guess anywhere from 20 bucks maybe 25 pretty popular in the music community we have a looks like someone tried to cut off the tag and it is a size extra large 50 50 it's like some type of racing tee new hampshire jiffy lube okay nascar 96 not too bad it's like maybe a 15 dollar bill maybe 10 bucks next we have a comic relief shirt looks a little bit more pink than red and i thought it was supposed to be red it is a men's size extra large and that is definitely from the 90s it is single stitch and it's in great condition everything's so nicely folded in here which i really appreciate and i'm just throwing them on the other side of that couch and they just look so bad now next we have some professors probably like a late 80s early 90s and it just has some professors on a chalkboard 1985 so I was right late 80s early 90s you know sometimes it's good to be experienced we have a custom fit polo Ralph Lauren and it has the USA and it is single stitch which is actually pretty cool black on black I would say 30 bucks in my store personally maybe even 40 black on black such a sick design and I got this whole entire box 33 t-shirts or something like that 35 t-shirts I want to say or 37. I don't even remember honestly I'm just happy 30 t-shirts for a hundred dollars shipped is an awesome deal. Look at this beauty right here We have the kind of distressed. Yeah, it's definitely distressed. Look at the neckline That thing is wide, but look at that beautiful graphic. You got Mickey and Minnie looking all cute This thing is so dope. This is single stitch. I like this one a lot I might keep this one if it doesn't fit because the neck is so wide Oh my god, someone stretched out that neck hella badly But honestly for that Disney shirt easy 25 30 bucks such a sick design and then boom We got Syracuse University. It says real men wear Orange, I remember that one from the pictures. Boston Bruins, brand new tags, pretty basic. It is brand new tags, which does help it, but it doesn't like help it a lot. It's not like an insane piece. Early 2000s, Jimmy Johnson, number 48. Looks like it could be a large, like a men's large. Yep, double stitched on the bottom. Sometimes these chase tags are hard to tell if it's like older or not, but I'm pretty sure once it gets down to the smaller one, usually the fat, thick, chase, authentic tags are more older and 90s. This one I would say early 2000s. So maybe like 15 bucks on that. It still had cool graphics. Ooh, this one's definitely an early champion piece You could just tell by the stitching and wear looks actually like it'll fit like the actual size on the tag Which is rare because this is from the 80s. We have a champion size large and it is 50 50 
single stitch, probably like a $30 bill. I know that sounds like a lot and like for something so stupid, but it's the Champion brand. Sometimes it confuses me because it's double stitched on the bottom and then single stitch on the sleeve. It's Babson, Massachusetts College. Never heard of it, honestly, but 25, 30 bucks on those vintage champions. We have a vintage popsicle. You guys know what I'm talking about when you guys were growing up and you guys had the ice cream truck. Oh man, what were the names of those popsicles? I wanna say like Red Rocket popsicles. It definitely can't be Red Rocket because Red Rocket's the thing when the dogs get a boner. You get like the little thing sticking out of the dog's pee pee. So this is size large slash extra large. We have the multicolor single stitch shirt. Oh man, I'm dying right now inside. We have the next piece is, looks like some type of basketball shirt. It says three point club. Yeah, ladies, volunteers, maybe the Tennessee logo. I'm not too sure. This is single stitch. Next. Man, this stuff is just still going. You guys know what I'm talking about, like early 2000s KISS shirt. It's actually dated right here, exactly 2000. And we got the KISS online. Man, that's early. This is like right when the internet started. Keep going, keep going. Next we got the Bob's stores. Maybe a $10 shirt. I'm not too sure on Bob's stores. I don't even know if that's an actual store. Or... Cruising Bryce Road, 20th anniversary of something. Early 2000s, dated 2000, blah, blah, blah. You guys get the picture. It's a NASCAR type racing tee, maybe 15 bucks. Next, we have a Nike shirt, and it looks like this is a customized Nike shirt. So someone bought this Nike shirt blank. See, it's a real Nike shirt. And then they customized it with some BS. So this is pretty much just like a junk item. You know what I'm talking about? Because it says Victor Victoria L. Rubberus. Victoria, you ruined a perfectly good Nike shirt. Next, we have a vintage long sleeve, single stitch, very cool size 2XL camo shirt. For these vintage ones, I usually get anywhere from 20 to 30 bucks. I don't know about you guys, but these are easy sellers. And thank you, Kanye. I think that's who popularized camo shirts, especially the blank ones. It's funny, because the guy hit me up and I was with my dad at the time. And I was like, yo, dad, look at these pictures. And you're gonna tell me if this is a good deal or not. So my dad and I started looking through the pictures and he's like, no, no, the, everything looks way too worn. There's no value here, blah, blah, blah. And he's like, don't buy it. And I was like, okay, how much does the guy want? And he said 115 shipped. And I was like, listen, my dad just said no, but if you'll take $90, I'll take it shipped. And he's like, I could do a hundred. I'll meet you in the middle. And I was like, okay, let's do it. So sorry, dad, I had to buy it. Beethoven shirt now playing. And this is dated 1989. And this is size large. I don't know what that one's worth. Maybe like 15 bucks. What is with the octopus? Is that something? I, I don't even know. I'm not a big NHL fan. Like, I don't watch hockey, but why is there a purple octopus on there? It's a size extra large, 1997 Red Rings. Oh, here's a pretty cool piece. We have the Walt Disney World, kind of late 90s, early 2000s. And it's kind of hard to see, but it says Mickey Mouse Walt Disney World, and it's all embroidered and embossed. I don't know if you guys could see that. Kind of hard to see. The Mickey Mouse is easy to see. Like, you got Mickey spelt out embroidered and this is probably a 2xl honestly it looks pretty big it's probably like 15 bucks just because it's kind of hard to see and then we have a vintage we got bush gardens single stitch kind of bright orlando -y. oh here's a really messed up jersey i remember this one from the pictures looks like size extra large we have a d smith i don't even know who this is honestly and this is the jacksonville jaguars and it's just so faded i don't even know if i'll be able to sell this honestly it's just so Messed up. Next we have a bum equipment and it says parental warning extreme something on the back, extreme risk. I don't really buy bum equipment too often, but honestly, if it's in the lots, I'll take it. Ooh, here's another dope piece. I remember this one for sure. We got the Speedo and then on the sleeve, it has most of the graphics. It's so cool. It's gonna be hard to show you guys this one on the sleeve. And then here's the front of the shirt, just says Speedo. But yeah, the majority of the graphics are on this sleeve and it says get the advantage. Maybe like a 15, $20 bill. It's nothing crazy, it's size large. You know, those beach bums want that true vintage. Next we have a Reebok Believe in the Athlete. And this is size large, definitely 90s. In all of us, Reebok. Basically saying there's an athlete in all of us, but honestly, no. There's not an athlete in some people. Me personally, I played sports growing up, but I can tell you there are not a lot of people that that are athletic. Look like Miami. We got the Maui all over print. Such a sick whale shirt. Single stitch, maybe an extra large. It is on this vintage Hanes tag. It is size large. I love these like all over print shirts. They do very well for me. And I get anywhere from 20 to 30 bucks for most of my all over prints. I'll price this at 25 bucks. People always ask me how long does stuff sit on eBay? And it just depends how you price it. If I price that whale shirt for 20 bucks with $3.99 shipping or $4.99 shipping, it's probably gonna sell within a couple weeks. If I price it at $30, it'll either sit 
forever or someone will really like it and they'll buy it because they really like the design. It's just hard to tell sometimes how long stuff will sit. Next we have, it looks like a Woolrich shirt, size extra large, made in Honduras, not too bad. Looks kind of weird. Oh, this is a cool one for sure. Got that vintage Toltex tag. Looks like a size large. It says, I hiked the canyon, and it's got like that all over print. Boom, you got the beautiful colors. Single stitch. Got the Grand Canyon National Park. I hiked the canyon. So sick. I personally would ask $30 on my t-shirt store, but I think he had this on his store for like 12 or 13 bucks. And honestly, I don't want to sound like an asshole, but sometimes when I buy these lots, I know that I could get better money for stuff because I have a more well established established eBay store. All right, next we got a Maddie Lee. Mattingly? I don't even know who that is. New York Yankees shirt from 2003. Only a couple more shirts in here left and it looks like he threw in one t-shirt. We have a Harley Davidson Museum shirt. This is size medium. It's made to look older and it's dated 2008. Maybe like a $15, $20 shirt. A lot of these shirts will be for sale on my Back It Up Vintage website. And if you do follow the page, you don't have to worry about the name change, but I'm pretty sure in the near future, I will be changing the name to Connor Thrifts. And people are asking me, hey, you haven't been doing YouTube videos with with fast food lately are you gonna be changing your name to Connor owns thrifting and I don't really like the name Connor owns thrifting in my opinion but I do like Connor owns fast food because my name is Connor Owens and owns is basically just the E out of Owens you guys get it let's just go through this last shirt before I explain this to you oh cool we got a vintage Da Vinci shirt that he threw in it's like a button-down I've done very well with Da Vinci stuff in the past pretty cool short sleeve button-down Da Vinci shirt so probably 30 bucks on this piece Maybe Maybe a little bit more maybe a little bit less and it just depends on the day honestly some days I'm having a bad day and someone offers 15 bucks on a $30 item and I'm like hey I guess I'd rather have $15 than nothing especially if it's a BS item like a whale shirt if someone offered me 15 bucks on a $30 item I'd be like sure it's a cool whale shirt but I'll get more in the future so I hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button show some love to 508 vintage gems on Instagram he definitely hooked it up with this box of t-shirts honestly everything was very good condition there's only a couple small stains that I saw and majority of it was awesome inventory for both of my eBay stores so I hope you guys enjoyed the video make sure you guys leave a comment down below what you guys think was the best t-shirt I think from remembering everything it's either the Disney with the Mickey Mouse and Minnie or it's the Grand Canyon one like the all over print I do like the whale one that's like all over print where it says Maui and then there's a couple other ones here and there hope you guys enjoyed the video make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button become a subscriber subscribe support the channel hope you guys Guys, enjoy these videos smash that thumbs up button and have a nice day peace out guys bye bye erectile dysfunction is bad but leaving a like on the video isn't whether you're hard or soft make sure to slap that like button and subscribe while you're at it